Hello guys, what is up? This is Mr. Geisman and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a USB block eruptor. Um, these are block erupting, these are Bitcoin mining devices that are used to be Bitcoin mining on the Bitcoin network to get money. By the way, these are somewhere around 336 mega hash per second. These are not meant to be to be used to earn money. These are experimental devices and may be used for fun but <clears throat> as, as an opinion don't use this as a form of income if we're going to use a, a form of income go for more serious levels of Bitcoin mining such as a 6 giga hash Bitcoin mining device for $279 so to get started what we're going to have to do is go to the Internet Explorer or to any browser you have and then go Google once that's done go and search for USB to UART driver now you should see USB to UART bridge VCP drivers by Sil Labs this is these are the guys that have made the, the driver you should see if you're on Windows XP Server 2003 Vista 788.1 download Windows 2k I have no idea who uses that but might do Macintosh or Linux it's compatible for every major operating system so we download the driver we save as desktop there we go now it's saved now we extract it and depending on your operating system it's either 64-bit or 32-bit that the driver can be installed at if you're not sure how to do this just right click on my computer or computer properties and it should say here system type 64-bit operating system so that's done we can go choose this Right, so just install this file, accept agreements, please wait while the driver is done. Now mine one is done quickly because my one is already installed beforehand because I was mining. But it will take kind of a, around about 2-3 minutes for you guys and once it's done this will come up and then you can just press finish. Now that's done, you can plug in your USB block eruptor into the port of any USB port you have on your computer and you should see installing driver, new driver software ready to use now keep in mind to keep just keep this tab open well the dialog open we're gonna have, use this later on com free just keep that in mind so after that we're gonna have to download a miner to be used BFG miner BFG miner is really recommended for any ASIC or FPGA miners Again, choose which operating system type you have, Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. My case, 64-bit. Once that's done, just extract this. Alright, now go inside the folder of BFG Miner and there should be a lot of files here. <clears throat> but it's fine as an example I'm going to show you how to actually run this now so double click BFG miner it's gonna say waiting for devices press M plus to add or Q to exit you need to specify one server I'm going to be using BTC guild so since I live in Europe as well we're gonna have to use do the following stratum plus tcp colon slash slash eu dash stratum dot btc guild dot com colon three 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 done username my username is sergeant circ underscore eruptor this is my username any type of username or any type of url is dependent on the pool that you are so check your instructions on the pool, on the pool's website, mainly in the 
how to get started or um, help section. Now that's my username done, the password is just 123. This is the worker password and username, not your account password, uh, username. Now once you press enter, it should get going, it should say pool zero is ready. We have all of this and we have no devices here. So to do this, we just press M, so manage devices. You press the plus key on top of your keyboard and straight away you can see that it gives you an example. Now, if you wish, you could just do auto or all or a serial ports such as this. To use this, as we said, keep the dialog up at, at the top. All you have to do is eruptor colon backslash backslash dot backslash com three. Enter. And your USB block eruptor's light now should be gone. It should be just either blinking or just stable. And my ones are 336 mega hash one, but if your BFG miner starts directly at one giga hash, then it's just a miner recognizing um, your device and it's just a really peak high and it just goes stable. As you can see, now this is accepted. Now this is a share. Here we go, that's a share. This is a difficulty that is given the share and the one on the right is the minimum difficulty that is given at. So as you can see from the top, difficulty um, BTC Guild gives me a minimum difficulty of two now the reason that there's difficulties is if I have a minor such as 600 giga hash um, and running difficulty of two then that won't be really good of use because I would be overrun and not I would not have BTC Guild providing me enough work so gonna have to increase my difficulty say to 128 and that will pretty much keep you leveled if anything you can't see this or com3 or you just wanna go normal what you have to do is write the same thing again eu-stratum.btcguild.com and your username and your password If you want to start this as a form of shortcut and without writing all of that code, what you have to do is right click on BFG Miner, send to desktop, create shortcut. Now we don't need a stoke more. Um, before anything, just name your shortcut anything suitable, for example, BTC Guild ASIC. After that, right click properties and go to go to where it says target and go to the far right right and write the following dash o space now dash o is your miners um, mining websites url that they give you they specify you to for your miner to contact them so stratum plus tcp colon slash slash eu dash stratum dot btc guild dot com colon three 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 minus u is the username so sergeant zerk underscore eruptor and minus p is your password one two three and now for device you have to do dash s eruptor colon backslash backslash dot backslash com three now generally when you plug in your device and you plug it out unplug it sorry the the com port shouldn't change it shouldn't ever change and if you plug a second device in that's when that second device gets a new name and um, the first device doesn't change but if anything you want to use all of them you can just do this write all you do apply and you okay and you double click 
your miner should automatically close the lights and the miner should be automatically detected but if anything and you want to use specifically that device just write backslash back eruptor colon backslash backslash dot backslash com three or whatever your port should be and as you can see we're getting shares um, that's pretty much it that's how you start your USB block eruptor and thanks for watching like subscribe for more tutorials hope to see you soon goodbye